it's crazy what can happen when you actually allow yourself to explore certain opportunities and don't let fear hold you back. Like I let fear stop me from living free in my skin for so many years. Now it's just so much better. I was devastated and I feel like I was mostly devastated because of the there's no cure or there's no treatment to like really prevent it. Being self-conscious about your appearance and about your body, I feel like it all um, pretty much um, starts at that age. Being where I went to school, I was already the most different kid. I was the only black uh, kid in my class. I just didn't want to be any more different. So an immediate solution was, was makeup. And at first I said it was, I'll just do it for the wedding because it's a special occasion. But then I got kind of addicted. I would go like three times a week on my lunch break to keep it as dark as I could, like to match my uh, natural skin color. I would start not to touch things because with spray tanning and so many layers, it, it comes off. So then I just found myself being restricted even more, but liking the feeling of feeling like I was quote unquote normal. I kept uh, wearing less and less and less makeup until December 21st, 2017. I rolled out of bed, I had a late night, and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna wear makeup to work today, and I've never gone back. I'm about to walk outside with my skin like this for the first time ever. I'm a little bit scared. So for me, that was just a way to like expose myself without really exposing myself. I was playing someone with vitiligo, but really, like, really, I was just wanting to be able to be free of my own skin. Part of also like what helped me in my acceptance was I grew stronger in my faith. I knew that God would never give me more than I can handle, more than I can bear. My story, my skin, I want other people who have vitiligo to see that you don't have to let vitiligo control your life. You don't have to be afraid to not wear makeup. And But if you choose to wear makeup, that that is your choice. You have to do what you need to do to, to feel comfortable and to live and to be happy. If I could look back at my younger self, I would tell her not to be scared and not to be worried. And if you love yourself, it starts from within. And that that is what I needed. Mm -hmm.